Hi, I'm James, and today we are looking at GTA 5 running on the Intel Core i5 1135G7 processor with Intel Iris Xe graphics. And this is the ATEU part found in the Core i5, not the full 96 execution unit part found in the Core i7. And we are running the game here in a break from our norm um, at 1080p, but still the sort of lower detail settings. Traditionally, I've run this title at 720p, but with Iris Xe and uh, the AMD Renoir APUs, we're getting to the point where 1080p on this isn't having a huge performance hit. Um, in this test, we see an average of 42 frames per second running at 720p, but on the same detail settings, um, we get around, I believe it was 62 frames per second. So there is a fair increase there, but we're getting to the point where 1080p does look a lot nicer being able to run at the native resolution of the panel um, and also to just have that extra detail and extra resolution from doing so. This particular machine has been upgraded because it shipped originally with just a single 8 gig DDR4 3200 DIMM. Uh, so fitting it with a second 8 gig DIMM has brought us up to 16 gigabytes and allows us to run in dual channel mode, which doubles memory bandwidth and gives a significant performance boost. So overall, testing the game like this, I would say we are getting to the point where, you know, expecting frame rates over 30 frames per second throughout the benchmark and in the gameplay which will follow this is really not an issue. Um, you rarely see it drop much below that. As I say that, it does. Um, and if you wanted to set the half V-Sync option to lock the game at 30 frames per second, you could do that. Alternatively, if you wanted to get over 60 frames per second most of the time, the option to run at 720p is still there. One thing which I would recommend of doing that is to lock your display to the native resolution of the panel and use the render scale option uh, so you can render at, say, half or two-thirds resolution. This um, means that the 3D uh, portion of the game will be running at say uh, 720p if you use two-thirds scaling on a 1080p panel which gives a much better look keeps all the ui in focus stops the display having to be doing any scaling uh, sort of after the rendering process and allows you to just lose quality in the 3d side of things to increase performance so a good option if you're playing this on a laptop display want to run native resolution without significantly decreasing uh, the resolution. I hope you found this video useful. Um, do let me know in the comments below what you would like to see me testing on this chip. And I will be trying to post comparisons to the Ryzen 5 4500U system I have as well. So let me know what tests or benchmarks you would like to see run on those as well. Do be sure to hit like if you found this video useful and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos as we post them. Thanks for watching.